common sense to come in out of the rain. <laughs> and I don't think uh, Lindy Thaxton does either. Lindy, who have you got? Well, speak for yourself. Here I am <laughs> in the garage. You know, the work here, Jack, never stops. We're in here with Lusso Dragon, the number two. You can see they're still here working. It's serious business. We found Rafael Matos to see what he does to prepare. Here we go. Playing a video game. Tell us what you're playing here. We're just having fun here. Uh, we're having a bit of a challenge here. Uh, I'm trying to beat uh, the guy's uh, lap time here. It's, it's quite difficult. It's not easy. Yeah, what are your lap times on this? Uh, right now we're uh, we're in uh, uh, qualifies doing some qualify simulations and we're uh, we're about two seconds off. So we gotta gotta some work to do here. Uh, just a little bit. So uh, I was gonna give this a whirl, but is this a stick shift? I have to ask. Uh, this is actually automatic. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, I could play then. Look, I just admitted that on the air. You all told me not to say anything, and here I said it. Well, let's talk about a little bit what you do. I mean, you're qualified, but obviously still very busy back here. What do you do during these days? Well, just, you know, try to spend some time working on, on the physical side and and uh, spend some time with the with the engineers as well, you know, trying to uh, visualize a few scenarios for the race and uh, what kind of strategy uh, we'll We'll, we'll be planning and, you know, just, uh, you know, trying to absorb everything we can um, out of the, the month of May. It's, uh, it's uh, a, a long time and there's a lot going on and we're trying to, to understand everything is surrounding us now. We know the success with Roger Penske. Talk about what it's like to work with Jay. It's great. Jay's a great guy. He's a very uh, knowledgeable person, and you know, very. Uh, he pushes really hard. Uh, the whole team. He 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 gives me a lot of support, and and gives a lot of the a lot of support for for everyone in the team. And Steven as well. Uh, they we pretty much have the same philosophy. We think the same way, and it's it's. Uh, I'm very honored to be representing his team. And all serious now about the game, because I know drivers do play games at the tracks they're going to go. I, how does this actually help you? It helps a little bit on the concentration side. Uh, you know, we actually we we we're getting a steering wheel, so we can we can try to simulate a few other things here and and uh, being more realistic with the game. Uh, it's uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, you know, uh, we uh, Mike uh, designed the game and it works pretty good. Uh, now we're working with the setup, and uh, hopefully we'll get a, a sweet spot here for the car. Are you the only car in this game, or are there other people out there? No, there's other cars as well. But right now, I I'm just trying to get a handle on, on my own here, and later on, I will try to race a little bit. <laughs> Let me ask you this: Can a rookie win this race? I'm sure. Uh, I mean, it's everything is anything is possible. I think we we have a great car. We we've proved that we can be fast in qualified conditions. Uh, we made a lot of improvements in the car over over uh, the, the week and I'm sure we, we, we have a little bit of room to make more improvements as well and uh, I'm sure we'll have a strong race car. The trick is just, you know, be, being out of trouble, keep my, my nose clean, especially in the early part of the race and make sure we position ourselves in the end of the race uh, fight, to fight for the wins and hopefully a podium position. Well, thank you for your time, and we'll let you get back to work here. And Elio Castroneves was actually the last rookie to win this race, guys. Indeed, and uh, Rafael Matos uh, won on the oval here. Uh, or, I'm sorry, finished 10th last year in the Firestone Indy Lights race here at uh, the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. And back in July of 2006, he finished 4th when they raced on the road course. Here are the uh, number of starts to win the first Indianapolis 500. It took Al Unser Jr. and Tom Sneva 10 years to win, but on the other hand, people like Rick Mears only took them two starts to win their first 500-mile race. Selected starters without a win, Scott.